Hey everybody, back again. Uh, this is the second half of the week lesson. This is going to be Tigers through Panthers, uh, phase five on the first section of your form. Uh, we're starting out with everybody all in one so you can see the framework of the form and how it grows and builds on itself. So if you're a tiger, you'll get exactly what you need. And then if you want to watch beyond that in the video, you can see what's going to come next for you as you progress through the ranks. Uh, and if you're a level five uh, and you want to see where the form started at, at its core, uh, you're going to get lots of great repetition uh, building up your form uh, to have it just at all-star level by the time you get to level five uh, in the video, which is where you want to put your, your focus at the end as well. So as you can tell today, uh, I've got my awesome Harry Potter wristband, so that way I have a little bit of extra mojo for you today. Got my watch going and um, some, some great things uh, to help us aid in, in your learning today. So we're doing fire style like we had said before. And so uh, if I collapse all my fingers in a fist like this, I'm going to open up all my fingers and then my thumbs hook at the bottom. And this is the symbol, so we do fire style, and we're going to start with level two. So the technique we're going to do is called crashing wings. My arms come up like I'm on a roller coaster, and I go, woo! And then I'm going to step off the roller coaster, and I'm going to say yes, because it was so much fun. But after all that screaming, my voice is hoarse, and so I'm going to slide my foot over and draw a seven for a seven up. Ah, but when I'm done, I've got this trash in my hands, and so we're going to knock off the trash can lid and then throw our trash away. All right, so then we'll come back. We're going to build on that. So again, we have fire style, level two. And we do crashing wings up and down. Slide over and back. Elbow, hammer, hammer. And then I'm going to turn back and look at the way I started, and I'm going to say back off. And that's section one of your form for tigers. We'll do it from a different angle. Uh, we're going to do it from several, so that way you, you at home kind of get the best idea uh, on, on which leg is moving. So I have fire style, level two. My arms go up. I step to the right and drop down. Yes! I have my seven up with the left foot. Left arm, left arm, right arm. I turn back and face forward, back off. And then I'm done. That's section one for the tigers. Last direction we'll go looking uh, is this way, so you can kind of mirror us at home. So we have fire style, level two. Arms go up, step to the right, crash. Seven up, ah, elbow, hammer, hammer. I look back to where I started, back off. And that's level two for the tigers. So please go back and review that if you're a tiger. If you want to watch on, you can. Next up is Panthers, uh, white through advanced orange belt for level three. So here, things start to change a little bit. And we have the same hand sign, fire style, level three. It's still crashing wings. I slide over and back, elbow, hammer, hammer. This time, I'm going to hold up my elbow like a cape. And I say blah, 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 except you don't really have to say blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to do a back fist and a reverse punch. After I punch, I'm going to fix my hair and turn behind me, and then I'm going to do a palm heel. And that's section one for our Panthers level three. In this form for level three and up, it's about stepping to where you can see and clearing where you can't to help us stay uh, protected as best we can. So we're going to do this again from a different angle. We'll go ahead and look this way. We have fire style, level three, crashing wings. Woohoo! Yes! Seven up. Elbow hammer, hammer. And then I have uh, my, my blah, 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 my back fist reverse punch. I fix my hair. I clear to where I can't see, and I palm heel. We'll do that angle again slower. So we have fire style, level three, arms up, crash arms down, slide over and back, elbow, hammer, hammer. I'm going to take a little itty bitty step as I lift up my cape, and then I have my back fist high, reverse punch to the middle. 
that hand that did the last punch fixes my hair, and then I clear behind me, and then I palm heal. And that's section one for Panthers doing level three, which leads us to level four and a new technique. So uh, we covered this one before. If you didn't see that video, we're going to cover it again for you. Uh, and then we're going to show you some slight differences uh, in the rest of section one for you. So we have fire style, level four. We're going to do spiraling twig. So I'm going to tap, step out and flap, and clap. So again, in the beginning, it's tap, flap, clap. I'm going to follow my toes and step. And then I'm going to follow my heel and spin round. I have my wrist lock. I throw my kick. I put it back where it started. And I punch. And that's spiraling twig. We're going to do that again for you. This time, Mr. Burns is going to put me in the bear hug so you can see what's going on, so you can visualize better. This is a higher bear hug. I can't crash. So I'm going to tap my knuckles to the back of his hand, and I'm going to flap, which pries them apart. The clap is to get a hold of the hand. I follow the toes and I step. I follow the heels and I spin. I have his hand. I put on my lock. I'm going to kick and punch is what we're doing in the form. So let's do this together. We have fire style, level four, spiraling twig, tap, Four stints and flap, then clap. Step, spin, lock. I'm going to kick, put it back, and punch. Now, just like level three, I'm going to hold up my cape for my blab of blab, and I'm going to do my back fist, and then my reverse punch. I'm going to fix my hair, and I'm going to clear, but this time I'm going to do an elbow versus a palm heel. So now I have a horizontal elbow coming in. Let's do that again, Mr. Burton facing this way and then we'll face another way, okay? So we have fire style, level four, tap, flap, clap, step, spin, lock, kick, put it back, punch. Hold up your cape, back fist, reverse punch, fix your hair, clear and elbow. Last direction, we'll do it facing this way. So we have fire style, level four, tap, flap, flap, step, spin, lock, kick, put it back, punch. I have my cape, back fist, reverse punch, fix the hair, clear and elbow. That's level four. Level five is not hugely different than that, but there are some differences that we want you to be aware of. So we have fire style, level five. I'm still gonna do my tap, flap, clap, my step in, spin, and my lock. I'm going to kick, put it back, punch. I still have my cape, back fist, reverse punch. Here's where it gets different. I'm gonna fix my hair and clear but then as I elbow, I'm gonna pin this to my body as I elbow. Then I'm gonna hook my hand behind their neck. I'm going to knee and then land forward, sandwich. We're gonna show you what you're doing on that real quick. So Mr. Burton is gonna grab my shoulder behind me. Uh, let's do the other, switch your hands there. So I just got done doing back fist reverse punch. I fix my hair and I'm going to pin this to me as I elbow. I hook and I have a knee and then I have my elbow and then I'm done. So that's what we're doing with those pieces uh, to help us learn how to be sticky and adhere and pin but keep our hands free. How to go from one tool straight into another tool to find our low line. Uh, stronger muscles in our legs, and then back up top again, which is high, low, high, low, which is always a great tactic to use. So again, for your form, we'll face this way now. We have fire style, level five, spiraling twig, tap, flap, clap, step, spin, lock, kick, put it back, punch, the blah, 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 back fist, reverse punch, 
fix my hair, clear, pin, elbow, hook. I like to slap my knee because it makes sound, and then I slap my elbow because it makes sound. I think it adds a different uh, dimension to your form. If we were to rewind real quick, and I do my clear pin elbow hook knee elbow, that would still be acceptable and appropriate. Uh, but I like to put the slaps in there. I think it's a lot of fun. So level five, we'll do it two more times. Once this way, and then once uh, in the other direction. So hopefully that helps you out at home. Uh, so here we go. Fire style, level five, spiraling twig, tap, flap, clap, step, spin, lock, kick, put it back, punch. I have my cake, back fist, reverse punch, fix my hair, clear, pin as I elbow, hook, knee, elbow, and that's as far as we're going. That's section one for my red belts and above. Last direction we're going to face is this way, so you can kind of mirror us at home. So we have fire style, level five, spiraling twig, kick, put it back. I have my blah, 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 back fist, reverse punch, clear, pin and elbow, hook, knee and elbow. All right. That's level five. I hope you found this helpful for your forms. There's still the whole form on kick site, which goes just a little bit quicker without the explanations, but I hope you find this really beneficial. Um, we filmed a workout as well, so I hope you had fun with that. And we've got a lot of other really cool videos coming your way. Some fun ones like Quest for the Cupcake and some other ones like Drills for Skills that we're going to do today uh, in, a, in a separate video, which are things you can do with your kids at home to train that have low impact, low risk, uh, but high reward, high benefit in, in their skill set. All right, that's all I've got for now. Until next time.